What's up you guys? I'm your girl Nerdy Amber and today I'll be talking about the Walking Dead Michonne, Telltale's of Walking Dead Michonne and why I hated the fucking characters in this game. I feel like these characters, specifically Sam and Greg, like just ruined the entire experience that this game could have been. So let's get right into why I didn't like the asses. Stay tuned. You start off the game playing as Michonne obviously and you're in a time period where uh, Michonne has left the rest of the original survivors, uh, Rick, Glenn, all those other people. She leaves them uh, in a point in time, and spoilers for anyone that hasn't caught up on the comic, but you're in a point in time where uh, after All Out War and the whole Negan thing is kind of diffused, Michonne takes off and she gets on a boat and becomes a pirate or some shit, so that's what you're doing right now. Start the game, you're with your crew on the ship, and you end up getting shipwrecked, so Michonne and the leader, the captain of the ship, Pete, head out to search an abandoned ferry that's nearby for supplies or any kind of way that they can kind of get themselves out of the situation that they're in. And this is where they first meet motherfucking Sam and motherfucking Greg. <laughs> These motherfuckers. We end up arguing with them over this duffel bag um, that they claim is theirs. We added like some survival goodies to this duffel bag while they were hiding, so it was kind of ours too, but what the fuck ever. So Sam takes off with the bag, and my choice is just to let her run, because look, I'm not gonna argue with you over this fucking bag. Yeah, it's good shit, but bye, bitch. Like, I don't have time for this extra. So anyway, we get stopped by this other group of people um, that says, you know, this is our duffel bag, and this bitch stole it from us. So I'm like, okay, you know, well, I guess things are resolving themselves on their own. I'll just head on out. Bye. No, that's not what happened. So the guy is asking, you know, I didn't know that you work with people. She asked Sam, I didn't know you work with people. I thought you were kind of a lone thief. And she's like, yeah, you know, they're with me. We were all taking this duffel bag. Like, what? Bitch, I just met you. I don't even fucking know who you are. You were hiding in, 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 the, in this fucking place and all of a sudden you popping out talking about you my friend and shit. I don't fucking know you. Someone get this bitch. So now everyone gets taken to Monroe, which is a settlement where the bags were stolen from in the first place. Um, we meet the leader, which is Norma, and then we find out that our captives, the guys that came in to, on the ferry to claim that duffel bag, is actually Randall, which is Norma's brother. So these people are running this settlement together as brother and sister. Um, and now they're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, okay, Sam stole shit from us. You're with Sam. Did you steal shit from us? And I'm like, nah. So we have like this little interrogation um, type thing. Find out that Sam's ass just be lying. This bitch be lying. She stole from Norma and Monroe and all that shit multiple times. And before the interrogation even start, I just asked this bitch, like, tell me, did you steal the shit? Why is this bitch lying directly to my face? This is strike two. She's lied to me twice. This, we're not even, <laughs> we're not even on episode two yet, and I already don't like these motherfuckers. Why are they here? Not only is Sam a fucking lying ass, during the interrogation, they brought Greg, her brother, out. And I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the sibling tree or whatever the fuck, because this is motherfucker sat right down and lied to the damn lady and said that that we were together again motherfucker i i'm the adult in this situation okay these fucking kids don't listen to their ass i don't know they're fucking stealing lying asses through all this shit the interrogation and all the anger from these motherfuckers being thieves and liars um sam's brother greg ends up getting shot and he turns into a walker and there's this whole thing so at this point we realize okay shit's getting mad real um people dying people getting shot it's time to get the fuck up out of here so we go and sam offers to take us to her home which i don't know i wish there was another option i really didn't want to go with this bitch i really just wanted to kind of escape and you know go our separate ways at that point but whatever after we fucking blew up monroe she finally decides to come clean and it's like yeah you know i stole from norma i stole from norma again and then i tried to steal from her a third time and she keep letting me go but i guess i pushed her too far you think bitch not only did you push her too far but you got me involved and i just sat up here and blew up monroe and all these other people fuck around with your ass her ass ends up getting hurt and i have to carry her bitch ass home if it was me for real i would have been throwing her all types of elbows while she was unconscious over my shoulder i'm like 
fucking flying ass bitch. God damn, gotta carry your ass. And we carry her, and then I meet Sam's adoptive sister. She at the door, she damn near shooting me because I think I did something to this idiot slung across my shoulders. Finally get let in, and Pete and I meet the rest of the family. We meet her dad, her two little brothers. All this commotion because she's damn near dead, and everyone is looking at me for answers. And I'm just like, shit, I don't know. Let me just try to fix this broad up so she can tell you what happened. Little brothers, the two little brothers start freaking out because they're like, where the fuck is Greg? Where is Greg? Where the fuck is Greg? I wanted to say that Greg's ass was dead because he lied square in my face. But I didn't want to go there. I was like, you know, just ask Sam when she wakes up. So now I fix this bitch. <laughs> She's fixed. And now I'm walking outside with the dad because, you know, he's still like, what the fuck is happening? You know, where's my son? Kind of just go ahead and tell him. Greg died. You know, there was all the shit and Greg died. He's all sad and shit. And he's like staring off into the distance with the door wide fucking open. I felt it coming. <laughs> so he got a uh, shot in the head by, guess who? By Randall. Randall found our asses. And Randall's pissed off because his home is blown up. We end up capturing Randall and there was all these options to like and um, beat him up and like inflict pain on him and shit and I didn't want to do like any of that shit. I avoided it mainly because I mean I just felt like the people that I was with and you know the situation that I was in it wasn't this situation had shit to do with me really. It had everything to do with someone that was a liar and a thief and they got caught up and now I'm just here. So I'm like I'm not gonna beat up on this man who I fucking blew up his home and all because this bitch steals. Because he had a walkie talkie, I was able to talk to Norma. We got in contact with Norma. And Norma's like, you know, get my brother. And then we find out that Norma has the rest of our crew members from the ship. Yeah, she has uh, Sadiq, Oak, and the last dude, I don't even know his damn name. I wish I could pay better homage to you, bro. I don't want to be a name. Now we're not just trading for our lives, we're trading for the lives of our friends. So we gotta make this shit happen. So while we're waiting on Norma to show up at the doorstep, Sam's like, you know, I have to prepare because I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving my home. I'm not letting anybody violate my home. But bitch, you're okay with violating other people's home and stealing their duffel bags full of goodies and shit. You okay with that though, right? She tells me, yeah, go upstairs. Uh, I have some weapons. We need to pass them out to everybody so we can prepare. Ooh, that's my dad. I'm going to have to call him back later. So she's like, yeah, I have this duffel bag full of guns upstairs. The duffel bag should look familiar to you. No shit, bitch. It's, it's the duffel bag from Monroe. Yo, yo, still in line as took both duffel bags and you tried to play it off like you didn't. Norma shows up. Knock, knock, bitch. Um, so we open the door. We have... We have Randall here, Norma's in front, and Norma's a fucking G, because she rolled up with no weapon, you know, pretty much by herself. Like, she had her people way back, but she pretty much came up to the gate by herself. Norma is thug life, yo. She's straight thug life. And we're like, yo, where's our people from the ship? Bring, bring our boys. She brings them out. The rest of her crew comes out. They have guns and shit. All of a sudden, the people that she's with are just like, no, you know these motherfuckers blew up our home we don't have anywhere to live people are dying and we can't just let them walk we the bitch wilds out and just shoots our homie shoots the boy from the ship i don't know his name fuck and i'm just like damn son. shit's getting real so i signal the adopted sister i don't know her name either i'm so bad with names anyway so to shoot norma she shoots norma she shot her but she didn't kill her and now everything is just fucking haywire now because everyone's firing. We have to get in. Walkers are coming because of the sound. And actually, Norma sent up a flare, I think, after she got shot to be like, bring all the zombies, bring all the walkers. So the whole time, I'm just like, <laughs> we are here because of this idiot. I don't even know why I was still here for this bitch's problems because this, this whole shit is her problem because she's a liar and a thief. This is not Norma's fault. Norma didn't go and steal from her or engage with her family or try to kill her damn family. You stole from her and you <laughs> did it multiple times, bitch. Damn. The ending was pretty much just like, for me, left on a sour note. Um, and everyone probably had a different ending. Uh, but Sam ended up getting uh, burned up. You don't see her die, but I hope her ass dead. I don't want her to show up in like season three 
of The Walking Dead. <laughs> My thoughts on this entire thing was, this entire game was that Telltale's The Walking Dead Michonne could have been so much better. The storyline could have been more uh, about Michonne instead of about these idiots, about Sam and her stupid decisions and her dragging everybody to their death because she's fucking dumb and a liar and a thief. Of course it was awesome playing as Michonne and it was awesome getting kind of insight of what was going on with her after she left Rick and the rest of the group, but they could have did it more justice. Anyway, you guys let me know what you thought about Telltale's The Walking Dead Michonne down in the comments. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at NerdyAmber. Alright you guys, peace out.